What's up guys? It's Zach and welcome back to my channel. Today, we can I help you? Politicians. Today, we are going to be talking about Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, it's been quite a while since I've made a video devoted to Luigi's Mansion 3, mostly because I've been focusing a lot more on making an, a, you know, big concept for what Luigi's Mansion 4 could be like. So today, I'm actually going to go back to Luigi's Mansion 3 and talk about things I would personally fix. I was going to put change in the title, but I want to be cheeky and put fix about the game to make it better for what I personally want from a Luigi's Mansion game. Now, of course, I know a lot of you are huge Luigi's Mansion fans, so you're probably going to agree with absolutely nothing I have to say, but hopefully you find some enjoyment in the video. And let me know down in the comments down below if you agree with anything. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you like this video. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into talking about Luigi's Mansion 3. So the first point is I want consistent lighting throughout the game. Now what does this mean? There are some parts of the game like this that you're seeing right now that are really perfectly lit and match the atmosphere and mood that I would love from a Luigi's Mansion game. Where the flashlight really makes an impact, lets the shadows really come through, it's just overall really great lighting. Luigi's Mansion 3 definitely has moments where the lighting and the mood are really, really good. But then there are moments like this where it's just way too bright, way too vibrant, and like just not as spooky and dark as I would have wanted. Now you could say, but Zach, it's because those rooms don't have ghosts in them. All of those shots that I just showed you, none of those rooms have ghosts in them. So if you're going to go to the point where ghosts can just appear whenever they want, just not even worry about having lights on at all. Have the mansion, or hotel in this case, just be dark. Don't worry about the lighting. Forget lights, you know, just have the whole thing be dark. Have Luigi cowering around with his flashlight. I mean, that could be a pretty cool change, right? Where the rooms never light up and the ghosts can come back whenever the heck they want. I mean, that's what this game does already, but when you go into a room, there's basically no difference with its lighting depending on if there's ghosts in it or not. It's usually about the same with a twinge of a different color whenever ghosts appear. But other than that, it's usually the same brightness or the same darkness whether or not there's ghosts in it or not. So why not just make the whole tower consistently dark? Now you could say, but Zach, there's a lot of windows in some of these places. Well, firstly, hold on, the mezzanine, that's, no, the windows shouldn't light the room up that much. But also, it is nighttime, right? If you walk around your house at night, even if there's, like, lots of windows, it's usually still really dark because it's nighttime. So one fix I would obviously make is to make the lighting more consistent, turning all the lights off in the whole entire hotel. That way there's a consistent level of spooks to be had for Luigi and not lots of lit up rooms when, you know, Luigi's still holding the flashlight. It just doesn't really make sense. So yeah, consistent lighting, that's point number one. Point number two and the most obvious point is more ghost variety. More often than not, when you're fighting ghosts, you're either fighting one kind of ghost or usually at most two of one type of ghost in a room unless you're doing one of those really challenging optional horde battles or I should say ambush battles where you just enter a room that you've already done and then you get ambushed by a bunch of ghosts those segments are really really cool because you're fighting multiple different types of ghosts in one room which you usually don't get for the rest of the game and it's actually challenging and it's actually fun i love those segments there is one in the museum uh floor that i really really liked because it was spooky it was moody the ghosts were looking at you through the window then you had many different types of ghosts coming at you it was a legitimately good time but for the most part, you're just fighting goobs with maybe a hammer or two in a room. It's really not that, you know, creative. I mean, in the mezzanine, you fight like 10 goobs. It's like, have some more ghost variety thrown throughout the game. You don't need to bring back ghosts from Luigi's Mansion 1 or 2. Offer more types. Bring more visual variety. Honestly, at this point, I'd be content with just bringing over some of the ones from the Scare Scraper. Like the, like the ones that self-heal or the ones that are really, really, you know, difficult, like the lethal ones. Bring some of those over. That would be really, really cool because even though they're the same kinds of ghosts, they do have the visual, like the different colors to make them at least somewhat different than the regular blue goobs. Just more variety is always better. Obviously, it's all about quality over quantity, but when your quality is lacking, you kind of do need the quantity because some of the ghosts in Luigi Mansion 3 aren't that great. The hammer's just a giant rectangle, goobs are like cutout ghosts, so have more variety. Like the trappers are geniusly designed, I love how they look, but you never see them. So another fix I would make obviously is having more ghost variety. Another thing with the ghosts is giving them better AI. You know, in Luigi's Mansion 1, and I think even Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon had this, if you are in a room, the ghosts are always actively chasing you. They are always following you, wanting to punch you. But in Luigi's Mansion 3, you can walk around the whole entire room and not many of the ghosts will do anything. 
I've noticed that the hammers are way more active in trying to attack you, but the goobs will just kind of float there and not really do much. It's really a shame that they don't, you know, offer up a fight. Because it just adds to the simplicity of catching them, you know, with the slam and all that, it makes catching the ghosts and dealing with them way too easy, and given that the game is 12 hours long, it makes it monotonous in the long run. So, another thing I would definitely change is giving the ghosts better AI, making them more out to get you, because the whole point is that their brains are taken over, right? King Boo's crown is controlling them, so it's controlling them to kind of just stand there and watch you run around? Like, no! King Boo's crown is supposed to control them to attack you, and when they're not attacking you, it just makes them look absolutely stupid in my opinion. Okay, I admit this is a completely personal nitpicky point, but this is a huge one for me. One thing I loved about the original Luigi's Mansion is how claustrophobic the environments were. It always felt like you're walking down a tight hallway with loads of ghosts coming at you. It really felt amazing. But Luigi's Mansion 3, and even Luigi's Mansion 2, but not to the same extent, they always had larger environments, huge places like a castle or a desert, like totally unnecessary things. So personally, I like the environments that are smaller. Look at these shots that I got in my game. These shots, in my opinion, look absolutely amazing. You can see Luigi's facial detail a lot more. You see the detail in the environment a lot more. They look so, so good. I, this is where I really looked at Luigi's Mansion 3 when I was recording this footage and going, wow, this game really is beautiful. But the game doesn't take enough opportunities to do these close-ups to really show the animation in Luigi's face. Everything is usually so far away. And it's really unfortunate. I love those close-up shots, and I really wish that a lot of the environments were more claustrophobic. It really adds to the spooky atmosphere, giving Luigi not much space to work with, making him feel like he's trapped. That's the point of Luigi being scared, and it's a shame that Luigi's Mansion 3 doesn't do that, so that is definitely another thing I would change. Alright, listen to this point, and listen to this point carefully. F the elevator. The elevator could go, and I would not care. It's just a glorified loading screen. You know one part of Luigi's Mansion 3 that I really, really liked? is that first segment with the second, first, and basement one floors all being interconnected. It is super cool being able to run from the mezzanine and go all the way down through the foyer, then down the stairs into basement one. It's just so awesome having this interconnected area, and that's what I loved about the original game. The whole mansion was interconnected. Even Dark Moon, the mansion was all interconnected, no loading screen between the rooms. But here, the elevator serves as a loading screen, and there's no interconnectedness besides the first three floors. I wish all of the floors were interconnected. But of course, like there's like 17 floors in total, so having a staircase would kind of be a bit tough. But that's why you don't need that many floors. Have less floors, but make all the floors super dense. Because some floors will take you, what, like 15, 20 minutes to complete? Have each floor be really, really dense so that you don't need as many floors, so that the elevator is just not needed. So yeah, having the whole hotel being interconnected is just something I really wish happened, but unfortunately that is just not the case. Alright, here's a big one. More human ghost encounters. Like I mentioned earlier, the combat with the common ghost is super basic, super simple, and just overly repetitive. This could be easily balanced out by having more human ghosts in the actual hotel itself. Now, here's where I'm going to draw a little bit of inspiration from Luigi's Mansion 1. I think each floor should have a couple, not too too many, but a couple human ghost battles to kind of even out the amount of puzzles and, and common ghost battles that you have. For example, I have a genius one that I thought of. Castle McFrights. Let's look at this room for instance, right? There are many of these rooms where Luigi has to walk through a bunch of arrows shooting at him and pull down a lever for Luigi to walk through. There's like three of these rooms. So it's a little bit overdone. But I thought it would be cool if there was a human ghost in this room. So hear me out. Here's my concept. On the other end of the of the arrows is a jester ghost. A kind of clown, you know, like, like a royal jester kind of ghost. So you're like, okay, Luigi can't get over there, so I gotta send Guigi over to deal with that ghost. But if Guigi gets too close to the Jester, he will pour a bucket of water on Guigi. So obviously Guigi cannot capture the ghost. So Luigi has to get over there, but how does Luigi get over there? Well, you have to find the hidden string in the back that causes the coffin to fall in front of the arrows. So then Luigi can come over and capture the Jester Ghost. Just little things like that could add a little more variety and a little more intrigue to the floor. So it'd be like, ooh, this is King McFright's Royal Jester, you know? Like, it makes the area feel more real. Rather than just a little playset with a king at the end, having a Royal Jester in there or a knight 
Something like that could really make the area feel more real and feel more alive. So more human ghosts would have been, in my opinion, a must. Okay, this is a big one for me. Luigi is so freaking stupid in this game. He's clumsy, he fumbles everything around. It's just absolutely ridiculous how stupid next level games have made Luigi. The thing is with Luigi and Luigi's Mansion 1, Luigi wasn't clumsy, he was a coward. There is a difference between the two words. Coward, he is scared of literally everything, but he is not scared to the point where he throws things around and jumps at every single thing. Like, Luigi gets scared by a ghost, he jumps a little bit and moves on. He doesn't fall, he's not paralyzed, he's not any of this, and I get it, it gets next level games to show off their animation skills, but it adds so many unnecessary padding missions, like the mouse missions in the mezzanine floor, where Luigi literally drops an elevator button into the mouth of a mouse twice. And then the Polter Kitty missions, and all these other missions where it's just Luigi being stupid, to where it adds so much backtracking and unnecessary padding to the game. Well, the padding is necessary to make it actually a long game, but they could have made it padding in any other way besides, oh, Luigi dropped the elevator button into a plant's mouth, or Luigi dropped an elevator button to a mouse's mouth. Or that Luigi literally watches a cat, a freaking ghost cat, he has his equipment, he just watches the cat go away and doesn't do anything to stop it. That is what bothers me. Literally, Luigi's just standing there while Polter Kitty's just strolling away. This is something I hate in Luigi's Mansion now. It's like, why is Luigi so stupid now? Like, why do they make him stupid and clumsy and idiotic? He was scared, yes, but not scared to this level of point. There should be an evolution with Luigi. Luigi literally got over his fears in the first game to where he was just merely jumping at ghosts. Yeah, he got really, really scared by that first ghost he saw, but at the end of it, he was just kind of doing a mere little jump and then was able to catch a lot of ghosts. There was an evolution there. But now, Luigi just comes paralyzed at the sight of a goofy ghost. Like, it, it's absolutely insane. Speaking of the goofy ghosts, please have more of the spooky moments and less of the silly moments. A word I see used a lot to describe Luigi's Mansion 3 is charming. Why would a spooky game, a game that is meant to be a spooky experience, why should that be called charming? Charming should be something like Animal Crossing or something that's kind of fun and lighthearted and innocent. Luigi's Mansion, now I'm not saying it should be a scary, bloody, gory game, but it shouldn't be, like, fun, or I mean, it should be fun playing it, but it shouldn't be lighthearted and happy. No, there should be a lot of spooky things, there should be a lot of elements that really scare you. And most of the scary moments in Luigi's Mansion 3 are cheap jump scares. It's ridiculous that Luigi's Mansion 3 has just gone so much for the slapstick, goofy humor, and just completely got rid of any kind of atmosphere or proper spooky tone. To me, I would completely change that. I want the game to be properly spooky. Maybe some some nice laughs in there, of course. You need your little bit of comedy, but not to the extent that Luigi's Mansion 3 does it. You know, Crawler is a good example. I would keep his personality the way it is, but not everything about that floor needs to be funny and goofy. Maybe learning that this mall cop wanted to be a comedian in the past, hence why he's funny, that could add some decent backstory to him. And that would make it so much more interesting to capture these ghosts. They have backstories, they have lives. There's something to them besides of, oh, I'm a ghost and I'm funny and I make noises at you. There's more to it than that. I really, I would so change that about Luigi's Mansion. Next level games, next Luigi's Mansion game, please give the human ghost more personality and less of the slapstick uh, physical humor stuff. It, it's really stupid. All right, so that is it, you guys. That's all the stuff that I would want to fix for Luigi's Mansion 3 to make it the best Luigi's Mansion experience ever. Now, I know a lot of people hate when I complain about Luigi's Mansion 3, but I haven't made a video like this in a while, but I don't think I've actually made a video really addressing every single little thing I think that could be fixed, so I think this is the best definitive video of the things I don't like about Luigi's Mansion 3. So, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All the stuff down below. Click on the notification bell so you're notified when I upload videos, and make sure to check out the merch store. There's some cool Zack Pack merch up on there for you to check out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.